Now, when you hear a sound like this in two weeks' time, don't panic. Three p.m. Sunday, twenty-third of April. Millions of phones across the UK will emit that sound and vibrate, even if the device is on silent. Let's get more on that, should we? Emma, standing by. I was reading about this, Emma, at the weekend. RAC very worried for some drivers who are not very good drivers. It's happening at potentially not who don't drive as often drive on a Sunday, um, and it might be off-putting. Yes. So. That alarm will stop after 10 seconds. Do not touch your phone, do not do anything. <laughs> Wait until you've stopped. Uh, and then what you need to do is swipe or click on the message that you also get alongside it, which will uh, basically mean you can use your phone uh, again. Now, Sunday has been chosen. Two weeks on Sunday, 3 p.m. Uh, that's a very specific choice. They've, uh, the government have decided they didn't want it to be in the morning. You can imagine a phone going off in a church service, uh, for example. But it will clash with certain major fixtures, so um, Premier League fixtures, also uh, the London Marathon. So the government's been in touch with those organisations. Uh, it's important to note that there has been concern from domestic violence organisations because some uh, victims, survivors, they have a second phone. Uh, and and if that went off, uh, that would alert uh, its presence to the abuser. So the government's been talking to those organisations and trying to spread the message that actually you can opt out of these alerts uh, in your settings. And if the phone is actually off, not on silent, but off, then the alert won't go, to, go won't be heard. OK, for, for now, thanks very much indeed. Thanks a lot. 23rd of April, of course, St George's Day. Now.